Jaden spit his little game, kind of, you know, I just want to, you know, get to know you, whatever, take you out on a little date or something. I'm like, is you going to feed me or? I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, from there. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be, baby, just let it be. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be, baby, just let it be. So won't you ride with me? What's up, YouTube? <laughs> it's your girl, Day. And it's your boy, Jay, you know. And welcome back to J and D True D True TV. Booya, booya, booyaki, booyaka. Six one. You know what? Ray Mysterio. No. Okay. All right. So the question we posted is different Q and A's about uh, us and our relationship and anything about us, and we pretty much ask people to ask us questions to answer. And here, live in a fake, we gonna answer the questions. That Some of your you questions were real exclusive, man. I can't wait to get everything out of me. Okay, so the first question I had was, when are we getting married and when are we going to drop some babies? Well, technically, we already dropped a baby. <laughs> You've met Carter. He's quite lovely. He's a handful. And right now, I feel like one child is just enough for us. So. Our big dog. <laughs> <laughs> one child is enough for us. And you'll know when we get married when we drop the video. Exactly. Right. I like that answer. Good answer. Good answer, man. Carter is our only baby so far. I mean, you can't have kids if you cannot afford them, you know? Big facts. Big facts. Okay. So, the next question is, um, how did y'all meet? <laughs> this sounds weird, but uh, it went down in the DM. Jalen pretty much saw me posted at five. Saw me hitting you with them five. Tried to slid up in my little Snapchat DM and it pretty much went down there to be honest. Um Jalen spit his little game, kinda, you know, I just wanted to, you know, get to know you, whatever, take you out on a little date or something. I'm like, is you gonna feed me or I'm just playing. <laughs> so, yeah, from there, we just went on a date and then it just popped up. Yeah, I, I pulled up to the crib scooter, you know, she comes out the house and she gets in front of my car and do the whip in the knee. <laughs> I said, this girl is so silly. This girl is so silly. <laughs> Mind you, we had met for, we, we, we had, we had seen each other like a couple times. I just ain't never said nothing to each other. Actually, because before me and Jalen got together, he was in this like, I guess long relationship. And at the time, I didn't know whether he was still with that person or not. So I really wasn't gonna take the chance. And if it came out that he was still with her, I was gonna have to hit sis up like, I got something. She's <laughs> lying. She's, I just she's like, lying. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. But I kind of thought they had been Broken up for like forever. So the next question: What was the what was the moment you noticed you were comfortable with the other partner? Mm. I think the first time I noticed I was comfortable is when I let him see me in my two straight oh, yeah. twists. <laughs> when I let him see me in my two strand twists. For anybody that's like really close to me, like just seeing me with my twist, it's not cute. It's, it's nothing attractive. There's nothing like, you know, rah rah about it. Like it's straight, seely. I'm protecting these edges. I want healthy hair. I'm not taking no chances type deal. Like when I, I knew I was <laughs> comfortable one time, we had made Ro we had made Ro tail. And I don't know what she do for y'all, but I know what she <laughs> do for me. So, you know, I'm like, man, hey, man, I got gas. I'm finna see how this turn out. <laughs> so, we laying down. We just chilling. I was like, boy, this a big one. I can't hold this. <laughs> so I just let it go. 
And then I just grabbed the head and put it under the <laughs> cover, like, see how she gonna react to this. <laughs> better out the end. Yeah. Uh, another person asked me, am I ever going to move back to Michigan? I don't know. I honestly do not know. Like, I had no problem, like, with visiting Detroit or just Michigan, period. But right now, I feel like I'm in a building spot where, like, I only see myself, like, permanently moving back to Michigan once I've established myself. How many kids you guys want? Well, I don't really have a set number. I don't. <laughs> I don't really have a set number. I guess three would be cool, but I ain't having no more. I always said when I got married and all that stuff, I want to have like two kids. And if I had a third one, it'll be a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody gotta have room for a mistake. Everybody have a mistake, child. You know. And the next question is, who picked out the dog and who named it? Jalen picked out the dog and I named it. Hey. So his name is Carter, and got the name from, we were riding down, listening to Young Dolph. He could think I'm rapping, and I'ma let it chop. No, that ain't even Young Dolph. That's not how you came up with his name. Hey, how, his name how wasn't I supposed came to up be, with his name. His name wasn't supposed to be Carter, it was supposed to be Cartier. It really was, but Cartier, it was Cartier, frames no, on my face. Like, like something. Next question. Um, what was your first impression of each other? My first impression, my first impression of Jalen was that he was bougie. Like, I automatically, before, like, I knew him, I thought Jalen was dead bougie and stuck up. Like, but, like, when we actually, like, when I actually went on a date with him, I'm like, oh, like, he kind of funny. You know, he, he, he cool. My, uh, first impression of her was, uh, like, dang, she from Detroit and, I thought she was just gonna be like the typical Detroit chief. Cause I got family in Detroit. So I, I was like, hey. But it's a typical Detroit chick though. I ain't gonna even go into that discussion. Hey, y'all know what y'all hear about these Detroit and these Chicago girls. <laughs> so next question is, what is your favorite thing slash trait about each other? I was thinking about a bunch, there's a whole bunch. But my favorite trait is that Jalen is really patient. I feel like Jalen is patient. When it comes to... I'm listening. How you gonna like down my trait like that? I'm gonna give you a compliment. I know why I'm listening. Alrighty then. Alright. I, your favorite your favorite trait about me? Um. Do 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 do. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I guess one of my favorite traits would be like, I don't know, she'll never just really be, hey, I really just be tripping out like a list of the uh, other people. Like, uh, what I see other like females in relationships trip off of, I would say. Or like elevate or escalate to the next level. She don't really do that, so it's cool. Uh, when did you meet each other's family? Jalen recently met my mother and like my media family at my graduation from the I love the Jackson State University. Get off of me. <laughs> don't don't you ever hide Jackson, Jackson State like that now. I met his mom, well his first set of mom. At First set of mom. <laughs> oh, God. What? I met his. She uh, put my mother's in sets now. <laughs> I met his mom at her wedding, and then I met his other mother on a cruise. That graduation. Oh, and then Jay was graduation. That was the first time I met her. The time I had to actually spend time with her was on a cruise we went on to. Bro, that ain't just my parents. You just talked about my mother. When I met your mama, I met the whole family. I they was a, there. Your family was there. I got a daddy and stuff too. Your daddy was there when I met your mama. You just talked about my mamas. I didn't mean it like that. You your about mamas my are mamas. really nice. 
So my dad, I just and you know my dad go <laughs> watch it. So, You're really nice. So you so I'm just saying, y'all was together. It was like when I met my dad him, and my I met him. Nice. When I met her, I'm, it's, it's a unit. It's a unit. It's a unit. It's like. That's sexist. She just spoke about the females, didn't even mention the males. What's next? She gonna talk about my sister? Because if you if if you talk about the wife, the husband is automatically included. But the man is a package head of the deal. household, so you should talk about the husband and include the women. Okay, next time. <laughs> next question. I'm as well as with you. How long have you been together? Um, people think that we've been together longer than what we actually have, but we've only been together for a year and what three weeks? Two weeks? What well, week is this in July? It's like three weeks. We we was talking for a long time before we actually got together. Yeah. Like even when I was like first started like posting him on Instagram, we wasn't officially together. I was just about to cut that. Negative. He was just trying to lock me down. He was trying to lock me down. He was trying to get a He was trying to cuff me. He was trying to cuff me. He was trying to Cuff me. Well, there you go, you guys. That's the end of our Q and A. I hope up. you learned something more about us. Slide in the DMs, fellas. Slide in the DMs. It goes down, not my DMs. I'm talking about other females' DMs, so you can, so you can create yeah, this. I was about to say, Mark, this, you're trying this, to get Thank you for watching G and D True TV. Don't and forget to greatly. like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as we. We really post appreciate a video. you guys, and I ask that you guys be patient with us as we're dropping these videos because you know.